Hi everyone, just ignore the mess. So first of all, I'm gonna vlog this all on my iPhone 14 Pro because I just got it and I've been curious. The camera quality is incredible. And I'm also doing this in cinematic mode, which always like blurs the background, which is really pretty, but it is better. And so I'm just giving it a try. I usually do like half my iPhone, half my vlog camera, but I'm like, I'm gonna try to do all this on here and just see how I like the footage. So, so far it looks really nice. Today I'm wearing one of my Amazon favorites. If you saw that video, this, I love this shirt. It's just so, here, let me show it to you in a better mirror. So um, this is what it looks like. It's like longer. So if you're a leggings gal like I am, it is absolutely perfect for that. I've already ordered another one and I'm gonna stop there at two, but you better believe I'm thinking about it. I think the sleeves are cute. It's just like super comfy. Uh, yeah, I wanted to mention it because it's truly probably one of my favorite things I've found on Amazon clothing wise. And you know how hard that is to find stuff on Amazon that's somewhat decently well made, but still fits okay. And you know what I mean? And so, yeah, this one was a good find. So anyway, I uh, am currently editing a thumbnail because uh, I'm making a video live actually tomorrow, but I try to like get everything ready the day before links wise and stuff. So it's a little bit easier when I'm doing that. I filmed today the full face of essence video, which oh man, boy, did we discover some goodies on there. Um, and just kind of trying to get my life in order. I did want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Thrive Market. We'll talk about that in just a little bit because I just got my Thrive Market order in. Um, and there's a lot of snacks that we've been out of that I'm really excited to have again so i'll share about that but i am currently also watching the office and it's uh phyllis's phyllis's wedding <laughs> oh man i love this show our best friends are not big on the office and it's really hard on us because <laughs> it's so hard because we literally quote it so much and it's such a deep-rooted love for me like i watched it through college like it was that comfort show anyway it's just rough because we can't quote it the way we want to around them. And it's just like, man. Anyway, uh, oh, also, I'm just chatting about nothing, y'all. I'm I'm alone here at the workspace, which is always odd and interesting. I feel like I just, I don't know, I get in a, I really enjoy it, actually, but it, it always feels weird. Anyway, we bought this. So this is like supposedly a healthier, cleaner version of Nutella. It's TBH, to be honest. It was co-founded with uh, Noah something from Stranger Things. Anyway, uh, it's pretty good. It definitely tastes different, but it says it's got three times the protein, no palm oil, 50% less sugar. It's vegan. It is good though. Like I, I like the taste of it. It's still delicious, but it's, it's not exactly Nutella. Like it does taste a little different. There's something about it that makes me think of those like hard. I don't know how to explain this. You know, the baby food, and I don't even know if they still make this, but they're like the hard, um, it's not a graham cracker, but it's like a cookie type thing that babies can literally just like numb on and they can't chew it. It's, it, it, what is that called? I remember them as a, well, like people around me having babies, having them when I was younger. And I remember like sneaking them and eating them and they weren't even good, but I ate them anyway. Cause I don't know. That's, I also ate like ketchup packets in the garage. That's a weird kid. <laughs> I know you're surprised. Anyway. It has that taste and I'll never be able to explain it. I was trying to tell it to Tyler and he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't know, just forget I said anything. <laughs> anyway, so I need to uh, wrap some stuff up here and then skadoodle skedaddle. I guess this is me now. I just live here. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know how to stop. <laughs> okay. This is no longer funny. <laughs> so we were actually going out to eat tonight, just like a weeknight going out for pizza at a place we've never been and we, it's a Wednesday night. We were like, oh, it's not gonna be busy. Uh, false, it was wildly busy. So we put our name in and then we were like, well, there's a park down the road. So we're hanging out here until we get closer to the time and then we'll drive back and park. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It feels like fall weather out. The leaves haven't quite changed. Some of them are starting. I'm trying to see if you can see any. There's a few in there. Mm. Excuse me, beautiful flowers. Look at that color. It's like the most beautiful lavender, like purpley blue. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just bottle that up. So I mentioned earlier that a portion of this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. That's this portion here. Um, I just got this box in, I wanna say yesterday. 
we've already dug into <laughs> my parents are actually here they're on a walk right now with the girls but they're here and so we already dug into some of the stuff and uh yeah i'm excited to share with you guys what we got so if you've never heard of thrive market it is an online membership-based marketplace grocery store they kind of do it all they've got food they've got frozen items they've got snacks but they also have baby care pet stuff uh, beauty and makeup and skincare. I mean, they really do have it all, things for your home, like cleaning supplies. And we love it because we like to try to get organic things where we can, but it gets really expensive. And with Thrive Market, you're getting membership only pricing. So you're getting a better price than the typical retail price would be. And so we love that. I'll pop on the screen right there how much we saved in this order alone. It is absolutely worth it. So let me show you guys what we got this time. We've got some old favorites, but we also have some new things I'm excited to try. And something that was out of stock that's back in stock that I'm really excited about. And when I saw it was in stock, I instantly added them to my cart and, and checked out. Let's start with that, shall we? These are these grain-free cookies from the brand Q, which is Get Back to Human. Listen, I thought these would be okay. They're gluten-free, grain-free. Um, we don't eat a gluten-free diet, but I can... Uh, I like to have some snacks on hand for my mom who does, but also, you know, why not branch out and try all kinds? Anyway, these are so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These are so good. So they, they're one of those things that in the grain-free, gluten-free world, these are one of the better chocolate chip cookies I've had. Mm. So I've got three. Do your food, Jessica. <laughs> I also got the peanut butter kind I'm excited to try. So I love, I just fell in love with these. These were such a random thing I added and I'm like, oh my gosh, Tyler loves them too. Another good old and faithful, the good crisp sour cream and onion chips. I made my dad, he was rum, rummaging through this box and I said, wait, let me film about them and then we can open these because I want him to try them because I know he's going to like them. Um, and they are gluten-free as well, but I've tried the salt and vinegar version of those. Also really good. That's Tyler's favorite. I am partial to the sour cream and onion, however. Our old standbys, we always get a couple boxes of these Noka little pouches or packets, whatever you wanna call them. I, I like to think of them, you know, like the toddler little pouches that have fruits and veggies. These are like that, but for grownups. <laughs> I love them. When we have them, I typically eat one a day and it's just an awesome snack. Kind of gives me a little energy and it tastes delicious and there's like no prep it's super quick okay another thing I, we this is what we've already torn into i had to have my dad try them these are our favorite the dang thai rice chips the sriracha spice is my favorite but i want to try these are coconut crunch these sell out a lot <laughs> so usually when i order them i order like a few but i haven't tried these i don't know if these are okay it's a sweet i didn't know if they were sweet or savory we're going to try these bad boys too. So they all look like this. The sriracha spice ones are like savory. Oh my gosh. These are the winner, man. This is the best thing they sell on that entire site. The dang Thai rice chips are the best. They're the best thing they sell. So freaking good. So yeah, these are slightly sweet, but they're, oh my gosh, they're so good. So I also got the, again, I wanted to try more from this dang brand. This is their keto. Dang, that's good bar so they have three different flavors there's the almond cookie the crazy rich chocolate and the lemon matcha i don't want to eat one of these right now because i'm not like hungry enough to eat a full bar but i just wanted to show you what they look like i am very excited about this i'm all about a bar if it tastes good and it like maybe gives some protein yeah these have a good amount of protein too so very excited about that these for miss genevieve these little unicorn sprinkle surprise little uh, rice crispy treats uh she's gonna love these she's gonna love just that they have sprinkles and she's totally the kind of kid that will pull all the sprinkles off first then eat the, the rest of whatever it is so it is getting to be fall so i got some of their thrive market organic pumpkin i want to make one of my favorite things i've actually made in a vlog i can link below which one it was but it is pumpkin chocolate chip muffins that my friend Laura taught me about. They are so freaking easy. Like two ingredients, I mean three ingredients kind of. But this is one of them. So I'm excited. I've got two of them so I can make two batches of them. <laughs> Maybe just double it and freeze a bunch. They're so good. And then we also got some olive oil spray that we always use. And then a couple other things for dinners. The 90 second like jasmine rice from Tasty Bite. And then I also, because it is fall and I'm feeling all those like cookie, cozy, like indoor fall vibes. This is the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. So I might try to make, 
I don't know if the recipe I use would work with this, but I might just make separately some pumpkin bread with this. I just thought that sounded so good, just like a loaf. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I mentioned they have a ton of different things. I really like how easy the site and the mobile app is to use. You can sort everything by keto, gluten-free, non-GMO, organic, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can sort the site that way and it makes it really easy to shop. I love that about it. Plus I love that orders over $49 are shipped free. So we virtually never pay for shipping because we just wait till we hit that threshold before we check out, which is great. Plus they ship with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. They're actually on a mission to become the first climate positive grocery store, which I think is so cool. So. I always feel good about ordering from Thrive Market. I loved virtually everything I've tried. We've definitely found a lot of favorites from them. And I just like that, you know, if you don't live close to a grocery store that sells these kinds of products, if you just don't have a lot of time to spend grocery shopping, if you're struggling to find things that you can eat if you're following a specific lifestyle or a certain way of eating, Thrive Market kind of solves all of those problems, which I love, and we end up saving money. So it is a membership-based grocery store. So there are two different membership models. They have the monthly one, which is $12 a month, or the yearly one, which is $5 a month. It ends up being $59.95 like for the year. That's the version we do. It's worth it every time. I mean, we make our money back every single time we order just for that month alone. And again, I'll show you how much we saved. We basically paid $5 for our membership this month and that's how much we saved. So it totally ends up being worth it and we end up saving money on top of it all and we love it. So if you wanna check out Thrive Market for yourself, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun to get a free $60 gift. When you join Thrive Market today, I'll have the link and information right at the top of the description box for you if you want to check it out. Thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of the video. <sighs> I can't. <laughs> can't stop eating these. Take them away. So I mentioned that my parents are here. By the way, so I filmed that, the like grocery haul portion on my regular vlog camera. Now I'm back to my iPhone. Let me know which quality you prefer. I'm so curious. I'm curious to watch this back after. Anyway, my parents are on a walk with the girls and actually my sister-in-law is with them too because it is such a beautiful, beautiful day, but they're here helping out while I get work done and stuff. So that's what I've been doing all morning. I've been working on some editing things and taking care of emails and some tax stuff I've been putting off that I needed to do. So it's been great to have some focused time here at home because usually the only focused time I get is at our workspace. So it's kind of nice to be home and get some time like that. Anyway, let me show you something very, very exciting. The leaves, they are a change in. Whoa, that zoom was smooth. <laughs> it's happening. I'm so excited. I did mention in, uh, I think an Instagram story the other day, just about how I hadn't been feeling very much like in the fall. Like I'm, I'm feeling folly. I've got some, my, our decorations are up and stuff. Our wreath is on the door. All of that makes me happy. But I just wasn't there like Halloween wise. Maybe that's the difference. Like I haven't been dying to watch like Hocus Pocus, all my normal things. And I still don't feel that way. And I don't know what it is. Maybe once the leaves actually change. I also think because everything like kind of started earlier than it, it felt like fall stuff was out earlier than usual this year. Um, cause it's always early, just like Christmas. It's always early, whatever. I don't really care because I love fall and I also love Christmas or whatever. But my point is it just, I wasn't feeling the vibes, but I'm, I'm starting to get there now. And Hocus Pocus 2, we still haven't watched yet. Maybe I've watched it by the time you guys are seeing this. When does it come out? I think it should be out. Anyway, that I think will be the like, final nail in the coffin to use a Halloween term <laughs> nail in the coffin of like feeling that Halloween spooky vibe so that's exciting you can see my little spooky spooky little pumpkin there he lights up actually but the other thing that always gets me in the spooky mood is all of our Halloween mugs I've showed you guys this one these we've had forever this was some merch I had last year this little Mickey one <laughs> um oh well that's our Golden Girls one very special uh yeah so, well, we have a few that we just are so used to, but that one. Oh my gosh, and that's like a couple years old uh, merch I had. This is such a good one. I feel like I show these every year, but whatever. This Haunted Mansion one is truly top tier if you're a Disney lover like I am. Actually was at the store the other day looking for more, more mugs. Um, just because we have a couple others that are like being used, like this one my sister-in-law is using, but it's one of my favorites, this little vampire Mickey. Um, but I'm like, you know, we have room for a couple more, <laughs> a couple more fall ones. So that just might happen this year. We'll see. We also have these little Halloween lights, um, that 
I want to say I got on Amazon a year or two ago. I need to get some batteries in this one, but they're so cute and dainty and they're easy to like weave through like little garland. Let me show you what I mean. This is not a great example, but we just got this like little garland here, just like in our front area. Kind of looks, kind of looks crummy now. That I'm looking at it. I feel like it looks better at night when these little lights are on, but it kind of looks dingy, not dingy. What's the word? Not stingy either. Like it's just so like threadbare. Like <laughs> I feel like I should invest in better, better garland, but these lights are really, really cute. So if, if they're still being sold, I'll link them below, but um, they're great because they're on a little timer. So when the sun goes down, they'll turn on and it, it does look cute. I feel like I have the darndest time. I'm just giving you like a little tour of some of our fall stuff. I feel like I have the darndest time finding decent garland whether it's for christmas or for fall christmas i think i finally got like decent ones i just bought this at the store and this one's a little bit thicker so i think this looks a lot better um but yeah i just feel like it's like weirdly hard to find this is one of my favorite things i got at bath and body works a year or two ago and it just holds you know whatever candle you have going but i just think it is so freaking cute just right here in the center of our island it is one of my favorite things okay last thing and then we got to move on see it doesn't look that good in this lighting but i love this lipstick that i'm wearing yeah i mean i've just got line lips but i love this color so this is the essence lipstick it looks like this and it's in the shade freaky <laughs> tis the season halloween <laughs> anyway i love this color so much it's like the exact color of my lips and then I'm using, I'm struggling to hold this with one hand, the Essence Stay 8 Hours Lip Liner. It's a waterproof lip liner in the shade. Number three, Unforgettable. I mentioned this in my Essence Full Face video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. I had, okay, first of all, do not sleep on Essence. I know most of us aren't, like their mascaras are good. I found a ridiculous amount of really, really cool things. Guys, stop looking at my messy. <sighs> to be honest, I'm sorry. I'm. This is what happens when I'm like left alone in the house. This visual clutter here stresses me out. Like I would love to get a piece here that is like, like closes. Do you know what I mean? Um, Cause all we have there are like wine bottles. These are actually non-alcoholic mixer or like thingies. You know what I mean? Like none of this is like super de duper necessary. And it just, every time I see it in the background of videos, I'm like, Ugh. anyway. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I think something that like had drawers on the bottom, not drawers, like doors on the bottom and maybe slightly open on the top. It was a, it was a piece that was given to us a long time ago. So it's not like we bought it or anything like that, but I just, I think it's time. Do you know what I mean? It just looks clutter. Okay, Jessica, focus. Anyway, I really like this combo and there's a lot of good from Essence. This video is so scatterbrained. I'm so sorry. Good morning. <laughs> So uh, I'm actually at the workspace kind of early, which is nice. So Tyler finished building something I'm gonna show you and I am so excited to finally get this last little bit of my office into gear. So I found this little guy here and it was on Amazon and it is, oh, I need to take that sticker off. But it basically this lifts up into being a more full size desk, basically the same size as that for filming purposes. But then when I need it out of the way, I can fold that down. I loved that there was a little bit more storage so that instead of having everything kind of all over the place, I could actually put makeup in there, put some of my like tools and stuff. I could probably even put some filming stuff down in there. So it really was perfect. This was from Amazon and then the chair that I'm gonna film in it's also from Amazon, this little guy, and it should work really well to kind of be out of the way with this in this corner. So, so happy about that. I'm really excited to kind of get all of this organized into this. This is so nice. I feel like I, this, I've really enjoyed. This is a good little piece I got at TJ Maxx, but I might empty it, try just having my makeup in this area for filming, and then, um, see if I end up having a use for it basically because I don't know that I'm gonna need it but I don't wanna get rid of it just yet because it's a really good piece. So anyway, I don't have any like organizers here though. I wasn't really thinking about it. I was like, I guess I could use some of the drawers in here for organizers but they pretty much take up <laughs> the entire space anyway so it's like not serving a great purpose. Um, I feel like in here though, I might be able to even pull off like using a little, um, one of those things you put in the drawer to divide it that's just like on a spring, you know what I mean? But again, these drawers are so small, I'm not even sure that it's really worth it. So we'll see, I'm gonna keep messing with it. But I feel like there were things in there that were kind of buried underneath that I didn't even remember were in here. So that's that's always exciting. 
And if you're curious, this is something that like every month or two, things get added to it all the time when I'm trying new makeup and stuff like that. But this is just a dynamic little collection here that every few months I'll pull everything back into my collection at home, kind of rearrange what I keep here so that I'm using different stuff um, and stuff that I'm excited about and, and things like that. So yeah, that is, if you were kind of curious how I've been doing this, that that is how basically. Cereal is eaten. Next up is, I'm kind of going through this and pulling out some stuff. Let me show you. I ended up using some of the uh, little drawers and actually was working really well. So I've got the drawers fit sideways. I was putting them in, you know, the other way and it took up most of the drawer, but this is perfect. So I've got some lip stuff here, some concealer and powders, and then I've got bronzer highlighter. This is, I need to go through this and take some of this home to my main makeup collection because this is way too much to have here. I don't need this many options. And also I keep, <laughs> I keep this has got to go in the trash. Jessica, just take it in the trash. I keep holding on to this. This is so many years old. It's disgusting. I won't use it. And yet I still am throwing it away. So that's going to go in the trash. Anyway, um, then I've got like liners, mascaras, brow stuff, that kind of stuff back there. And then down here is eyeshadow palettes and then SPFs, primers, and like foundations. But I, uh, same thing. I have too many primers down there. Um, and really I want to swap out some of my face products with ones that I have back home. So anyway, that's kind of how this is going. I kind of hate that all this vertical space is wasted. You know what I mean? Um, I guess I could stand those upright. It's not that deep, but yeah. The only other thing I feel like I need space for is like this kind of stuff. Like my little things I'll put in my hair when I'm filming. So I got to figure that out. Um, I've got my handsome hubby. The car mechanic underneath the hood of a car. <laughs> underneath the <bottom. laughs> This desk came with like little drawers. So he's uh, them. I'm so excited. And I did get this all finished, you guys. I am just so, it basically looks as you saw it, but I'm just so happy that everything's in there. And then all I have are my brushes and then my mirror, which I cleaned off the mirror. Such a good feeling. So drawers done. I've just got like remotes and some extra post-its, things I genuinely use. My um, lighter for candles, et cetera, some lip balm, cuticle oil. Um, I am definitely the kind of person that, because I used to teach, I feel like I would hold on to every like desk and school supply ever and I've finally gotten to the point where I've gotten rid of most of it because I'm like I really only use like a couple of like desky things I genuinely use post-its and I genuinely use like scissors box cutter sometimes highlighters and then like pens so beyond that you know I used to keep so many different things here and I'm like I just don't need them good morning from our bedroom <laughs> You're playing some real deal Adventure Bay. Mickey just wrecked all of Adventure Bay <laughs> and we decorated it for fall. They're all at the doctor here. All of the skies. Why do we have so many skies? And there's their vehicle waiting. <laughs> now we've got Halloween Mountain ravaging the town. Daddy surprises with the Daddy, this morning. I went in. I want to eat that. Yeah. Can we do that one first? Okay. I went in early to work, and then on my way home, I stopped and got donuts. That's oh, such Daddy. a nice surprise. Oh, Thank you. I want my stool. Well, <laughs> I feel like the way I look accurately describes how I feel. It is Monday. Um, we both girls are sick. <laughs> One of them has an ear infection, which, which she's been on, on an antibiotic for like two days now. So that is nothing new. That's Felicity. She's so funny though. She's such a sweet baby that we almost didn't know other than her like kind of tugging on her ear, but they both been getting over a cold for a while. Anyway, well today, Gigi, last night she was just coughing and it was so like, just like a bad cough. So this morning, instead of taking her to school, I took her to the doctor and so she is on an antibiotic for bronchitis I'm like when it rains it pours you know so it was just a rough night and a rough morning and anyway so the good news is we've got that all squared away i'm at target right now because we need to get a couple of things that we need and i'm also um going to be filming about what i get in a separate video so that video i think is going to go up after this the target haul 
Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. I also am just out running errands. I need to mail something, um, pick up said prescription, etc. So hopefully we'll be able to get all that done. I am definitely going to get some Starbucks while I'm here because I mean, A, that sounds delicious. B, I don't think I've ever been in Target and not gotten Starbucks. <laughs> and C, I feel like I've never felt like I needed coffee more than I do right now. You know, like when you, when you're just so tired and worn down that your eyes literally feel crossed. That's how I feel. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is offensively pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Are you kidding me? Jeez, so pretty. Don't let me forget to tell you guys about my weekend. I feel like I uh, got some clips. I don't know if they'll be actually in the video or not before this, but if they were, well, either way, I want to tell you about our weekend because we, we did have a really good weekend. So anyway, by the way, I got just pumpkin cream cold brew, classic, delicious, delicious. I'm starting to think I should have gotten an extra shot of espresso though. So this is that new line from, um, I want to say Sharpay, uh, Ashley Tisdale. And it actually is really nice. I have this in my bath right now. This body wash smells incredible. And then I also have this hair mask that has, I think the same smell. It smells so good. Um, I've only used it a couple times, so I'm not sure how I feel, but we've used this. It's like a mist you can spray on linens and stuff. It smells so good. So it's actually nice and it's kind of mid-priced, I would say. Little PSA that this is one of the greatest cream bronzers I have ever tried, ever. Drugstore or not, $7.99. Um, it's so good. I wear the shade light. It's so creamy. It literally looks airbrushed when you put it on. It's it's it, it, truly unbelievable. It's so good. And my little bits and bobs here look really nice. Another PSA, these diamond plumpers are so good. I'm really liking this shade right here, which is called, wait, is this the shade I have? Yeah, champagne cushion cut. Looks way browner on here, but it it's like a light kind of peachy nude. I'm thinking about buying this color though. I already have the pink one. It might have to happen. Halloween Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about prison were the Dementors. I was just sending this to my sister-in-law because she always, she loves like neutrals and stuff. For her little girl, I don't know what this is. It must be new. Yeah, new. They're all like really cute clothes. Like way cuter than a lot of the other stuff. I like Target clothes well enough, but like look at some of these. So cute. So you're gonna die. Look at how cute this one is. Are you? That's already in my cart. <laughs> so cute. I mean, oh my gosh. So I promised I would tell you guys kind of about our weekend. It was lovely, but it was just jam packed with a lot of stuff. And the big things we did was uh, Saturday, we had each of our families, like my side of the family and Tyler's side of the family, had an event. And usually we'll just kind of pick one or the other. This time we didn't want to miss either, so we just kind of split ourselves in half. And me and Felicity went to my family's and Tyler and Genevieve went to his. Um, so for my side, for we were trying to tell you that how many years we've been doing this. Like I think 15, which is insane. Because I remember the first one like it was yesterday. But uh, basically we do this like fall annual we call it the fall frenzy <laughs> and it's basically we like run out of pavilion at a park you know and there's usually a hayride there's like we do games which I was in charge of this time they were super fun we did like minute to win at games and they're always so much fun anyway and uh like have a bonfire and food and, and sweets and stuff so that was amazing it was so so much fun but then Tyler and Genevieve went to his family they were went to this um Basically, we have a minor league baseball team in our city, and at the field that they play at, they had like a movie night where they played Encanto. And so Genevieve wore her little Mirabelle Encanto dress mm -hmm. and went, and she got to dance around with her cousins and watch the movie and have snacks. So they they all, I know, Genevieve had the time of her life. So it was an, a really fun weekend. There's a lot of other stuff we did, too. It was exhausting, however. By the time our head hit the pillow Sunday night, we were like, oh, which was last night. Just exhausted. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was really fun, though. We, I obviously didn't vlog most of it. I think I might have had a few clips from maybe our hayride thing. But uh, just because we just were wanting to be present and just enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, that's the, I'm going to end this here because I was just looking at the footage and there's so much. I always think there's not enough and every time I'm like there's too much. <laughs> also let me know what you think of the footage here. So like I said all of the vlog was filmed on my iPhone but the only part that was filmed on my normal vlogging camera was the part where I talk about Thrive Market. So 
Let me know in the comments which you prefer. I'm probably always going to do a mix just because sometimes I just have my phone with me. It's easier. You know what I mean? But I am just kind of curious your guys' thoughts on uh, which you prefer. There's another vlogging camera I'm eyeing. So I don't really need it right now, but... <laughs> anyway, that's that's a story for another day. But I, I am curious of you guys' thoughts. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog as usual. If you miss any of my recent vlogs, I'll put my playlist below where you can see if there are any you haven't caught. You can check those out next. Thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring a portion of this video. Um, if you want to check out Thrive Market for yourself, you can get a free $60 gift. When you join Thrive Market today, all you have to do is go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. Thank you, Thrive Market, for sponsoring a portion. I love you guys. I hope you'll subscribe and come say hey to me over on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. It's a mouthful. <laughs> like monologuing here. It's all a monologue, Jess. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.